Okay, today I'm gonna to show you guys the baby's nursery. Finally, I'm very excited. It's in this little room here. And we've actually been really organized and we've had it done for quite a while, but I wanted to wait until like everything was done. I'm aware that some people don't even do their baby's room before the baby comes and I totally understand that. The baby will not be sleeping in this room for at least like the first six months probably. I think everyone's different. Like some of my sister's kids went in quite early, some went in quite late. But the reason I wanted to get it done now is because I think now I've got more time to kind of focus on it and I think when we have a newborn it's just not going to be something I care about or have time to do. So I wanted to get organised. We're very lucky that we have a little spare room for her. And it's just been really, it's been a really nice thing to do actually throughout the pregnancy. Like we've been taking our time and doing it in bits slowly. So I'm going to show you around. Just to give you a little bit of like perspective on the room. It's about nine foot by six. So it's a really, really little room. And I think we've done really well with the space actually to make it feel a little bit bigger and get as much storage in as possible. Okay, so I'm going to take you inside and show you around. So I'll do a little pan around the room so you can kind of get an idea of where everything is. It's kind of a hard room to film in because it's so small. I'm getting Rich to help me today, but like it's a bit awkward. And I'm gonna start on this side of the wall. This is the first thing I did in the room. When we did up the house, I knew this would be a baby's room eventually. I wasn't pregnant when we were actually renovating. So I always liked the idea of having like one statement wall. So what I did is ask them to paint the three walls in um, grey. Do you remember what colour the grey is? Uh, was it Almanite? Oh, it was Ammonite. Yeah, Ammonite, Ammonite from Farrah and Ball, which is the same as my office. And then I told them to paint this wall white because I just had this idea anyway. This was going to be like a filming room for a while and turned out I got pregnant and never turned it into a filming room. But these are actually little stickers. They're called decals. But they do them online. The website I used, I wouldn't really recommend it. It was from America. It took ages to come, really expensive. But I think there's a UK one I'll try and link to. And they're just like uneven kind of Dalmatian spots. And I just place them in like uneven places all over the wall. And I think it looks really cool. Babies love black and white, so that I think she'll hopefully really like it. But I just think it adds something a bit interesting to the room. So that's what's going on on this side of the wall. And if I close the door, we're gonna get a proper hook, but we've just got one of these hooks. I think this is from Primark. And we've got like a couple of dressing gowns that I've been sent, which are really cute. I don't know if babies even wear dressing gowns, but I was sent them, so they're really sweet. Like a hooded towel. And then this Ergo baby carrier, which my sister has given us, um, which is the one that she used with her kids. Okay, so on this side of the room, we have this chest of drawers. It took us a while to find the right chest of drawers. Obviously for this room, everything's about size and keeping it small, but having lots of storage space as well. This is one that I saw in West Elm. Actually, when we were in New York, I saw it. It does come with like, um, it doesn't come with it. You can buy a separate baby changer on top, but we decided we didn't need that. So. We just got the chest of drawers. It's three drawers. It's a really nice, like, special looking piece of furniture. Um, I found a lot of the drawers and changes weren't quite right or what I was looking for. So this was a little bit of an investment, but I'm so, so happy with it. I love the kind of mid-century style of the chest of drawers. And I think white, although I don't have much white furniture anywhere else in the house, I think for this room, white works really well because obviously it's quite a small room. Next to it on the floor, we just have a little Tommy Tippy Nappy this thing, bin, nappy bin. Um, this one was like really cheap, it was like 15 pounds. I think we were in mother care, it was in the sale, but I, we've now realized it's the small version. I think we need a bigger one. If we get a bigger one, we'll put this one downstairs because I know you change nappies all over the house. Above the changer is this gallery wall. I always knew I wanted to do some kind of gallery wall. Like I just think it's really fun, it looks really cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with it actually. So most of the prints are from Decenio. These are from when I did a job with them. This isn't a job, but um, they did give me like a voucher and I got some prints. One of them, I think the Flamingo one, I can't remember where we got it from. It might be like a shop in Brighton or something. I knew this would happen and I won't remember where it's from, but I bought the Flamingo one. And then the one on the top right that says Baby Fridge is from my baby shower. My sister Jojo drew this little elephant and got all the guests at the baby shower to like put their fingers in ink and do a little like, fingerprint, which sounds really cheesy, but it came out so well and I'm so happy with it. And I think it'll be a really cute thing for her to like look back on and she'll be like, why did everyone call me Fridge? Which by the way, if you're wondering why we call her Fridge, it's because my nephew Bailey made up the name for her ages ago and we all just thought it was really funny. So everyone in my family and all my friends pretty much call her Fridge. <laughs> on the top of the chest of drawers is a changing mat. I think when we're upstairs, when we're in her room, we're gonna use this as a changing, as like a changer. But um, we also have stuff downstairs. We have like a changing mat under the sofa and a little box of 
nappies and creams and everything in the little cupboard in the lounge but when we're up here we wanted to use this now it's quite a narrow chest of drawers and i found that most changes are too wide so i was looking for something quite specific i wanted something that looked nice originally we bought something from john lewis and it didn't really work i think it was white and it kind of like looked weird compared to all the other shades in here so i've been waiting for so long for this one to come back into stock it's from a brand called Snuggle and it's just very clever. I hope hopefully it's as good as we think it is. First of all it's grey so I really like the colour um, and it's kind of made out of this like I guess it's kind of like a foam. It doesn't get too cold. Babies I think get quite upset or agitated when you put them on like a cold surface so that's really good. It's kind of this like squishy neutral like room temperature and it's also slightly tilted which if your baby has colic that's pretty good for them. It just feels really comfortable and it's wipeable. I didn't want one that if she like pukes or shits on it i'm gonna have to like wash it every time this is completely wipeable but you can also like lay a muslin underneath i just think it's great and it fits the changer i'm so happy with it i waited so long i literally signed up to their newsletter i was like when is this gonna come back into stock and we've got it so that is great so as i keep saying we want to get as much storage as possible out of this room and also this chest of drawers actually couldn't go into the corner because the drawers would open into the radiator and into the kind of window frame so we pulled it out a little bit and on the side next to it we've got a little kind of ikea storage unit that we used to have downstairs to store scarves and shoes and stuff in so we kind of tipped that upside down and have put that next to the dresser and it's worked out so well because on top we have a little ikea basket that we've put nappy bags nappy wipes nappy cream in so like a little changing station and i'm sure as time goes on i'll put in things that i actually need and i know what i need by then and then next to that we've got a little grow egg which is basically like a night light and it also tells you the temperature of the room this is such a good like this is the thing i always buy for people who are having babies we actually got sent ours but i bought one for my cousin and it was on our list of things to buy and it's just such a handy little thing to have. We've also got our nest, um, which tells us the temperature of the heating up here. And we can kind of change it on an app, depending on how hot or cold it is in this room. So that's really handy. Underneath in the IKEA thing, we've got to pull out box storage. And in there, we've just got sheets for like the cot, sheets for the snooze pod, which is in our bedroom, spare covers for the sleepy head. And then below that, I've just got extra bits that are probably going to go in my baby bag, which I'm currently using to take the baby stuff to the hospital. But things like I bought this from Muji. My friend Gemma has this in her baby bag and it's just like a, a little zip bag that's got baby wipes in it and nappies and everything you need. So if you don't want to take your whole bag to the nappy changing room or the toilet, you can just take this with you. So just bits like that are kind of shoved down there, but I'm sure over time we'll move things around and use different areas for different storage. Okay, now let me show you inside the drawers, which I think looks, when I show people around, they're like, oh my God, you're so organized or like so over the top but I'm fully aware that they're not gonna stay this tidy. And like I said, I've just wanted to like get a little bit organized and it's been fun to do anyway. So in this top drawer, the top drawer is a little bit narrower compared to the bottom two. So let me pull this open. In here, I've got some plain white baby vests. I think these are like the little tiny size and then socks and like a few little kind of bloomers and stuff. In here I've got hats, these dividers by the way are from Ikea. And then I've got some spare um, water wipes and then lots of nappies. We're trying three different types of nappies. We bought Pampers Pure, we got sent some from Kit and Kin and we got sent some from Rascals and Friends. So we will try them out and just decide then which nappies we like. So we've got a load here so we can just grab them when we are changing her. And then in the second drawer, I know it looks crazy. I've Mary Kondo'd this drawer to death, but I figured rolling stuff is better than folding it because I can see everything. Again, IKEA dividers. And what I'm gonna do, my friend Rose has such a genius idea. She bought big pieces of card and wrote on the top of them like naught to three months sleep suits and kind of slotted them in. So they stick out like dividers and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm very excited about that. But at the moment we've got sleep suits here. So like long leg, long sleeve sleep suits. We've got kind of leggings here. Um, and then these are all vests, but it is hard to tell like what sizes there are. There are some newborn, there's some not to three. So I think the dividers will come in really handy. But yeah, I, I like the idea of rolling them. I think I saw this on YouTube and it just means you can see everything because if they were all folded on top of each other, it would be really hard to see. And we've got such a mix of stuff here, so I'm not gonna pull them out and show you. But lots of cute prints. And then the bottom drawer is pretty much empty. We've got a couple of um, like swaddle suits and I'm sure we will find things to fill in here when we get more clothes or whatever. But for now, it's good to have space. Just above this like changing station are these two Ikea shelves. These are normally for to put pictures on. 
um, I thought it was a really nice place to put books. So my sister Carly, this was her present to us, she bought us six classic kids books and actually in each one she's taken a quote from the book and written it inside and put love Auntie Carly, which is really cute. So some of my favourite kids books like Where's Spot, Dear Zoo, um, the Very Hungry Caterpillar, Peepo, Burglar Bill, what a classic, and The Tiger That Came to Tea. Um, this was also like a teething toy we got sent, so this is staying up here for now. But I just think that's a really good use of actually this little corner, and it looks really nice as well. Now when it came to the window and the blind, we spent a long time talking and thinking about this, because basically the baby's rooms are the front of the house, so when the blinds are open, everyone can really see in, like people across the road, and I didn't like the idea of like walking around with my naked baby and everyone like seeing in. But babies also need blackout blinds and I hate the idea of having a blackout blind down all the time and it just being dark in here. Um, so we were trying to think of a solution for so long. We looked at blinds that kind of came up from the bottom so you could have it just covering the bottom of the window. But in the end, Rich found this genius solution. Um, what's the website called that we got it from? Uh, blind to go. And it's basically a double blind. So on the back, it's got a blackout blind and then on the front, it's got this kind of mesh almost clear but not clear blind. So during the day you can have the mesh one down, it still lets all the light in, but you can't, from the outside you can't see in. And then at night we can put the blackout blind down. We measured over the window frame so that it gets as dark as possible. Um, there is a bit of light that comes in on the side. I, you know, you never know what your baby's gonna be like, she might not mind. If she does, we can just like blue tack or Velcro the sides down. So I just think that's such a genius idea. I'm so happy with it. Doesn't look as nice as our lovely wooden blinds did before, but it's worked out well. Now we wanted to have some kind of chair in this corner. Everyone says it's really good to have like a feeding chair or even just somewhere to sit while you're like soothing them and putting them to bed. But we definitely didn't have room for like a proper feeding chair. Those chairs are massive. They've got like arms and like a foot rest and they look amazing, but we don't have room for one, unfortunately. I also didn't really want to like invest in a chair because I feel like you don't have it for that long. I don't know, but so this, this chair we actually already had, it was downstairs um, in the kind of kitcheny area. It's from Arlo and Jacob. We got it when we first moved into the house. And actually originally I got it as a desk chair, but it didn't quite work out for that. So it's kind of hasn't really had a purpose for a while anyway. It is pink and it makes this room look so girly, but um, it's great. It doesn't have arms and I know it's more ideal to have arms on a feeding chair, but this works out fine for now. I'm just happy that we can fit some kind of chair in it. And this on top of me is a BB Hug Me feeding pillow. You guys know how much I love my BB Hug Me um, maternity pillow. I'm obsessed. They actually sent me the little feeding version, which is really cute, it's so mini. And it's very heavy, you can like tie it around your waist. And it means that you have like something to rest on. And my friend Rose, again, I keep talking about her. She says she walks around the house like feeding. She can like do it one out like with one hand because of this. And I, it's also, I think it'll be really good for like when the kids are holding the baby and really handy so I've just been keeping this on the chair um, and I feel like this will be my like cute little corner I can like spoil neighbours and hold a baby. Okay so let me show you now what is above me. This is my favourite part of the room I think. Before I continue actually um, next to the chair is this little storage um, basket which is from my first years and it's filled with blankets because um, I don't really know where else to put them for now and I'm sure eventually this will be good for toys as well. Okay I knew I wanted some kind of shelves in here but I also just I don't know, I watch so many nursery tour videos and they've all got these like massive wardrobes and I'm like, wow, wardrobes for babies. Like people seem to have a lot of storage for clothes. So I was worried that just the drawers alone wouldn't be enough as she kind of gets bigger. So I thought it'd be great if I could find like a shelves that also had like a rail. I literally thought I'd like invented it in my head. I was like shelves with a rail that you could hang clothes on. I was almost getting rich to try and like make something. Looking absolutely everywhere and then I found this one which is by Rafa Kids and it was out of stock everywhere but I was like I knew I knew I wanted this it's expensive but like I said with the drawers I was like I think it'll be worth the investment and actually whilst I was waiting for it to come back into stock Scandi Bourne very kindly got in touch and asked if I would like anything from their website and I was like oh my god please can I have the Rafa shelves because that's where they stock them so we're so lucky we actually got sent these in the end but I was totally willing to invest and buy them because I think it's a really special piece actually it's basically mounted on this big bit of like white um, wood and then the shelving units on the front and then it's got this rail underneath for clothes it's so clever 
it gives you more storage space but then it also allows you for like a little bit of cute styling in the room so on here i've got the baby book which i bought from i bought it from we are truva but i'll tell i'll link below what the brand of the baby book is because i get questions about that all the time it's an amazing baby book if you have presents to buy for anyone this is my favorite one that i found a little rattle which a viewer actually gave me they gave to anna in amsterdam to give to me so thank you if that was you very much goes with the style of the room and then next to it i've got a print um of like a girl in the swimming pool which is a bit random but i bought that from brighton i thought that looked nice i've got this little like music wind up thing which basically my friend jake got me from a market in like vienna or somewhere and it plays hey jude which was a song from our wedding so i thought that was really cute and then i've got this little personalized bunny toy that says fridge on the ear which is from my first years when i worked with them on the shelf below i've got this little ceramic pot which i bought from a shop in brighton and i've got a few little hair bands in there very cute don't know if she wore hair bands but some of the clothes i bought have like come with hair bands so i just put that in there got a picture of me and rich which seems so cheesy and not something i would ever do but i just love that photo it's from like a photo booth in brighton and i framed it and thought that's cute for her to look at got my first ever cuddly toy his name is todd he's quite gross and dirty and i've put him up there and then next to it i've just got this little kind of pot with a succulent in which is from next so there's lots of cute little like styling bits going on there and then the rail underneath so the way i'm doing it is like sleep suits and boring things are going in the drawer and then anything special and like clothing wise is being hung up so this is all i've got in terms of like proper outfits because i just think when they're little when they're newborns everyone says you just put them in like sleep suits and baby grows so i haven't gone over the top these little hangers i found on amazon they're pink velvet little mini hangers they're so cute i love them and then i've got things like this is from baby maury i bought this in the sale and in the christmas sale this is from zara i mean i don't know if ever wear that but it's so cute and then what else my sister got this for me from gap cute little cardigan Ooh, this jumper from John Lewis was one of the things I bought quite early on. I just thought that was really cute with like dinosaurs and stripes. So that's kind of it in terms of clothes that are hanging up. And I just love this whole like shelving area. I'm just so happy with it. Okay, let's talk about the cot. Again, I know you don't need a cot for quite a long time, especially as we have a snooze pod, which is like a bedside crib but I just wanted to get it done. And it took me a really long time to find the perfect cot. I find that a lot of them are really bulky. We looked in Mothercare, John Lewis, we looked all around. And they were all too big and I didn't really like the style of them. I wanted something really simple but like good quality. My sister Jojo actually found this cot. Um, it's from a brand called Moki and she sent me the link. And I was doing loads of research and there actually wasn't much. There was like one video online on YouTube of a guy putting it together. And then Ruth randomly, my friend Ruth had like a review on her blog. Because I think she'd been sent it ages ago. We were really impressed with the price. I think it was about £80, maybe 80 to 100 I can't quite remember. I'll put the link down below. So we were like, amazing price. The only thing that put us off is that we couldn't see it first. I wanted to see it before ordering it. I don't know why. Like I wanted to go into a showroom. I messaged them on Instagram saying, do you have any kind of showroom in the UK? Because it's not a UK brand. And they were like, unfortunately we don't. And there aren't that many reviews online. They actually offered to send us the cot in the end, which was amazing. Again, we were so willing and happy to buy the cot. But now that I've actually got it and I've put it together, I can tell you guys what it's like because it is really frustrating that you can't go and try it and like feel it or anything. So firstly, I love the style of the cot. Really simple. You can pick different colors. So we went for the beach and white one, which I think goes really well with the room. There's like a bit of beech wood in here, a bit of white. It's all kind of mixed up. It's very kind of Scandi looking. It's not a cot bed, it's a cot in terms of size, but I do think that one of the sides can come off eventually if you want it to turn into more of a cot bed. But it's mainly a cot and that size works perfectly for this room. We couldn't have had a cot bed, we don't have room. And also I was thinking by the time she is old enough to like be in a bed, she'll probably move into our other spare room and then this will be like our next baby's room which is really freaky to think about that. So it's a really simple cot. Um, I think I filmed a clip of Rich putting this together. So I'll insert this here. It didn't take too long if I remember. It was pretty straightforward and easy. Feels really good quality. Um, because it's beech wood and not like MDF, hopefully she won't like chew through it. I hear that's a thing that babies kind of like chew through their cot when they're teething, which sounds terrifying. Um, and obviously it changes different heights as well, which is really handy. There is a drawer underneath, which I'll show you in a moment, which doesn't, it's not on a runner. It basically just like drags on the floor, which if you have carpet like us, it slides really easily and works really well. It's got wheels, it's got wheels. Does it? Yeah. I don't think it does. It does. Oh. I put it together. 
Rich said the drawer has wheels, sorry. <laughs> in the cot I've just got a couple of things which I've been sent. Obviously I know when the baby goes in the cot you can't put toys in the cot, but um, I've been sent like all the white noise toys. I've got Ewan the sheep, Ollie the owl. This one's fun because it like lights up. The little sheep soother and Peter Rabbit, which I'm not a massive fan, but Rich is like obsessed. He's like, I loved Peter Rabbit when I was a kid. So she's got Peter Rabbit in there. And let me show you the drawer below. So I'm sure this is the most flattering angle of me ever. I'm just gonna pull out the drawer and show you. Um, I really wanted one with a drawer underneath for extra storage. You guys know I'm obsessed with storage. It just felt like a wasted space. The only thing I didn't love about this when looking online is that the drawer isn't covered. So when this part of the cot is high up, you can see what's in the drawer. And that's something that was driving me mad before when I was researching it, but actually now it's here. I think as long as you keep the drawer kind of semi-tidy, it's really not a big deal. I don't know why I thought that was such a big deal at the time. If I pull this out, this is where all our muslins live. We have so many muslins. I think that's the thing that people like to like give you as presents. So I bought quite a few at the beginning, not realizing I was gonna get sent a lot of muslins and now I have loads. I've got like bigger ones that you can swaddle with, smaller little square ones, some plain ones. I've got some really nice like little soother things, like the things that they like Stroke, what are they called? Comforters. <laughs> Loads of different muslins, like Aidan and Anae, John Lewis, Kit and Kin, so many different muslins. This is just empty, but I thought that'd be good to put some like, products in. We've got like a first aid kit, which we're probably gonna keep in our car. I've got quite a few little like bibs as well that I've been sent, like dribble bibs. I've got another white noise machine. I actually bought this one because my friend used it so much when her baby was little. It's like a hut, it's called Hush. I got it on Amazon and it's a good one if you are out in a buggy and you don't want to take a massive toy out with you. I've also got a snooze shade, which goes over the buggy. Um, that's in here for now. And a couple of like feeding capes as well. So that all lives under the cot. And I'm so happy with this cot. I just think it looks so great. The sheet we have, is from John Lewis. I think we just bought a two pack and they're really soft sheets as well and I just thought I'd get it in grey. I forgot to mention the thing that we spent so long deciding on. Um, first of all, under the sheet we've got a mattress protector, which is like a waterproof protector I think we got from John Lewis. And then the mattress, so confusing, so much info online. Some of my friends have bought like the Rolls Royces of mattresses. Some people I know have bought like the cheapest mattress ever. Um, obviously, I don't know, you want your baby to be safe when they're sleeping, you want it to be breathable, but we went somewhere in the middle. So I can't remember the name of the company we bought the mattress from for the life of me and it's tucked under a sheet, but I'm gonna link below. I think it was like a bamboo one. As I said, price was somewhere in the middle. It wasn't the most expensive, wasn't the cheapest. And yeah, it feels really nice. So hopefully that will be all good. I am totally out of breath now. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned everything. I've been waiting so long to film this video and now I'm like worried that I've forgotten to say something. This always happens, but I'm so happy with the room. It's been so nice to do. I can't wait to have her in here. There's no like play area for her in here, but she's got downstairs and when the chair moves, that little corner can be like a play area. It's right next to our bedroom, which is so nice. And I can't believe there's gonna be a baby in here in like, could be like, I'm due in four weeks, but it could be earlier, could be later, I don't know. Oh, I just remembered. See, what? this is why. I just what have you remembered? I've just remembered that I have something else to say. Um, we haven't got a mobile. This Moki cot, they actually sent us one, but we didn't like love the mobile, so we've taken it off. Also, I know that there's so many like on Scandi Born and stuff of like really cute mobiles with gold raindrops, but I just, I don't know, from my experience of speaking to friends and family, babies don't love that. It looks great on Instagram, but babies like colorful, singing, ugly things. Um, my friend uses her mobile to get like, that's the only way she can shower. She puts her baby in the cot with this like colorful, disgusting mobile and she loves it. So I think we're gonna get one when we need one. We don't need one yet. Um, and we'll probably put it on the edge of the cot. But for now we don't have a mobile. Um, and I think that's it. I'm gonna leave it here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the comments on my baby shower video last week. Sorry that all the videos at the moment seem to be baby related, but I literally, it's all I'm doing with my life right now. So I will see you in my next video, hopefully. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. What's it called, that style? Modern century. Ah, oh, my brain. Oh my God, I'm so tired. Okay, we're well, oh. gonna. Oh. One minute. One minute. Oh my God, I can't breathe. Deep breaths. Can you just squishy my lungs?
So I'm gonna need help getting up. 